So there's a couple of useful tools um, that we can use to help us identify where the sun is, where it moves across the seasons. And uh, this time of day, obviously, it's just kind of up there in the sky somewhere to the south. But it's useful to know also where is the sun rising and setting uh, each day because that changes through the year. Um, roughly in the UK, where we are here, we're about 51, 52 degrees north latitude. Um, in the winter months, the sun is more or less rising in the southeast uh, and setting in the southwest. And in the summer months, it's rising in the northeast and setting in the south northwest, approximately. Um, so at this time of year, this is the spring equinox, uh, which is the point at which day and night are equal in length. And uh, the sun is more or less rising in the east and setting in the west, which is what we're taught <laughs> at school, uh, of course, but that's only approximate because it moves. And that very much changes where your shadows are through the year, what the shade is like. So when the sun is rising in the southeast in the middle of winter, this building throws a much longer shadow in this direction. Of course, the sun is also lower in the sky. So uh, there's a, a very low tech tool here that's based on something that we've been using for a very long time as humans, a compass, a magnetic compass. And it's uh, quite a chunky, as you can see, quite a chunky plastic plate. And uh, marked on the plate, there's uh, on this side, the east side. So I'm orientating it essentially to south. South is, well, about here actually in this landscape. So um, I can be looking at this. I need to put it down flat in order for the um, magnetic compass to rotate because what we want to do is line up the north on the magnetic compass with the north on the base plate. And so once I've done that, because obviously I have to move it around in order for that to find its spot. There we are, settle it down. Uh, always be a bit careful, don't put it close to anything magnetic and sometimes um, Will, which will deflect a magnet, sort of iron and such. And some rocks have quite a lot of iron in them, so look out, it's not just bits of metal. So we've aligned this to south, and essentially what this is telling me is that in January and December, the sun is rising over there and setting over there. Uh, in the middle of summer, the sun is rising over here. Uh, this, that's June, by the way and setting behind us over here. Uh, this time of year, where are we? March, the sun should be rising there and setting over there. Now, of course, in a flat landscape, um, this is what you see. If you've got hills to the south of you, you may not see the sun until it's traveled further across the sky and got above those hills. So um, you have to bear in mind that this is giving you a, a broad sense of where the sun rises and sets in a flat landscape and your location may be a little bit different. This of course doesn't tell you much about shadows. What it does have on the other side, which is also useful, is um, this little set of angles here that tells you for here, because this is specifically for 50 degrees north, um, where the, how high the sun is in the sky, the angle of the sun. So in January and December, it's only, well, it's a little bit below 20 degrees, so it's quite low in the sky, sort of here. Whereas the, as the year goes on, because it's all about the tilt of the Earth in relation to the sun's, well, our orbit around the sun, um, then we experience the sun as being higher in the sky until uh, June, July, when it's above 60 degrees uh, up there which means we obviously get much more sun and the shadows are shorter.